Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Governor George Ryan, welcome to Harness Racing at the DeCoin State Fair. Ten races yesterday in the eliminations of the Illinois Bread Championship Divisions. The finals will go on Saturday. Today we have the County Fair Challenge races to highlight the card. Race one is on the track right now, the first half of the Daily Double. No changes in either race one or in race two. The track is fast. Win place show and exact a wagering on this first race. Pacing Phillies, non-winners of two pair mutual races for $5,000 live. Number one is Tulin Around, owned by Cura Racing Stables of Evergreen Park, trained by Dirk Simpson, Tony Morgan is up. Number two is Stormy's Girl, owned by Mike and Adam Nicely of Wheeler, trained by Mike Nicely, the driver is John David Finn. Number three, Dolly's Image, owned by Dave Snyder, by Leela Souther, Beulah Kemp, and Charles Heleny, trained by Dave Snyder, Randall Finn is in the bike. Adara is number four, owned by Buddy Graham of Salem. The trainer driver is Carrollton's Doug Talley. Number five is Fancy Rap, owned by Leroy and Betty Moore of Ellery, trained by Leroy Moore, the driver, Fred Finn, Jr. And number six, All-American Yenta, is owned by Michael Van Dehede of Moline and Omer Miller of Arthur, trained by Irvin Miller. The driver is Andy Miller. First race is less than five minutes from post, and again, the track is fast. Here they come for the first. Stormy's girl is off stride. They're off and pacing. Dolly's image goes for the lead. All-American Yenta gets away a close-up second on the far outside. These two come to the front as a team. All-American Yenta determined to have the lead and will get it by the end of the first furlong. Into the turn, All-American Yenta has the lead by two lengths clear for driver Andy Miller. Dolly's image will go second. Tulin around settles in third. They're all single file now. Fancy Rap is racing in fourth. Adara goes fifth. And Stormy's girl has caught the field after that break. She is sixth, racing seven lengths off the lead. 29 and two was the time for the opening quarter. All-American Yenta is on top by two lengths, heading up the back stretch. Dolly's image goes second by two and a half. Tulin around is racing third by a length and a half. And here comes Stormy's girl from last. Stormy's girl takes to the outside, moves up from sixth into fourth, but she is parked with no cover. Now she's being sent. She kicks into another gear and is up to second on the outside. The halfway point, Stormy's Girl is up to get the lead. What a move on the back stretch for Stormy's Girl. The question now, will she have enough left for the final half mile? The opening half in 59 and 1. Stormy's Girl by a length and a half. All-American Yenta second, Dolly's Image third, followed by Tulin around, then Adara up on the outside of horses. And Fancy Rap is shuffled out to last. And here comes Tulin around off the rail now from fourth. Midway on the final turn, now up to second, trying to catch Stormy's Girl. At the three-quarter, Stormy's Girl leads it by a length, tooling around second, keeping All-American Yenta pinned down. Adara moves up in the outer flow in fourth. They got three quarters and 129 and one. Stormy's Girl leads it by three parts of a length. Tulin around goes second. All-American Yenta toward the rail in third. Then Adara, fancy wrap up on the far outside. Final eighth mile. They're being led still as they drive through the lane by a length and a half by Stormy's Girl. Tulin around to second. She couldn't get by her. What a trip for Stormy's Girl. She has raced her heart out, and she's going to win it. Stormy's Girl, huge performance to win it by two and a half. Tulin around was home second. Dolly's image got third in 157 flat. Our ringmaster today is Stephanie McKinnon. And she is originally from Hardin, Illinois, in the western part of the state. She has just greeted winning owners Michael and Adam Nicely of Wheeler, the unofficial winner, number two, Stormy's Girl. It is now official. Mike Nicely happens to be a nephew of driver John David Finn. Mike's mother, Ruby, who passed away a few years ago, was a sister to J.D., Adam Nicely, who is standing next to John David Finn, is cutting class to be here today, but we won't tell anyone. He is 19 years of age, just celebrated a birthday. He studies at Lakeland Junior College in Mattoon. His father told him, look, I've got three head of horses to race. I'm not one to interfere with your education, but we need your help today at DuCoin. So Adam was kind enough to oblige, and as a result, gets his picture made with this two-year-old Stand Forever filly who wins for the fourth time this year and the second time in a row and takes a new lifetime record 
of 157.